Hey guys, so Flavien here, dedicated buyer for ATL JDM in Japan, and we are in a different place, this is my home, uh, with uh, Honda Ortia. This one is a 1996, I think, 1997, 1996, I forgot. And uh, yeah, basically just like doing a little walk around on this one. It has 105,000 kilometers, so that's about like 65,000 miles. It's got the B20B engine and it is front wheel drive. Uh, these also exist in all wheel drive. Uh, automatic gearbox also. Um, so what was done to this one? So this one had like some paint issues like uh, on the door. I think it was the other one. It's not really visible anymore. But there was like lots of scratches and little things like that uh, in there. Was the roof? I forgot what I asked. <laughs> I asked for the. I think the roof was done also uh, because it's a common common problem uh, here in Japan. So there was like a little bit of touch of paint done here and there. Uh, one more thing that will need to be done that will be in the states because I forgot to ask uh, a body guy to do it. A little bump right there. You can see it. And a little crack in the paint thing just right there. So that's going to be the other things that will have to be done stateside. Uh, other than that, the car is pretty damn nice, you can see. There's really no uh, real cosmetic issues uh, whatsoever on it. It does have uh, brand new Dunlop tires uh, and it has brand new front disc. And you can see them here maybe yeah, brand new disc and pads in the front uh, because the one on the car were wobbly uh, at high speed so if you reach like 100 kilometers per hour and brake uh, the whole car would shake so needed to be warped this basically so needed to be replaced uh, let's go a little bit with the rest so like i said brand new tires No rust or anything like that. Same thing with the wheel arches. This car really only needed like uh, only needed some paint work uh, when I got it. Really, nothing else at all. It was pretty good. Uh, there is a small accident history on this one. Uh, it's been like slightly hit in the rear in the bumper, uh, which would justify the small gap right there. Like it needs to be like slightly readjusted. Uh, that's an insurance history, so there was an insurance claim related to that, but I don't think that it was uh, that it was taken care of, repaired basically, because it didn't need any repair. So usually, what they do is they just take the check and be like, "Meh, there's nothing visible," <laughs> and just like move along with the check, with the extra check for repairs if they want to do them someday. Uh, but yeah, no, just overall. A very good condition car we can see so you do have this little thing here which is pretty practical because it's really hot if you have anything in the trunk in summer and you can see with some storage compartment you can see nothing was pushed or anything really very very minor uh, just like a small bumper to bumper accident yeah, so All right, what else can we go? Let's go with the interior now. Uh, I did not clean up that mat there. My bad, of course, that will be for you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but you can see, typical here, slightly, you know, could be re-glued. Uh, seats are in good condition. Drives great. Up. Overall, comfortable and nice to be in some um, cup holder which is rare in Japan <laughs> if you're used to JDM cars not a lot of uh, cup holders then we've got the 2000 fantastic explode <laughs> Sony uh, radio not original but uh, it's, <laughs> it's definitely a blast from the past on this one air conditioning is really cold like super super cold uh, definitely Sums up on this one. It does have an aftermarket Momo steering with the Honda horn still, but the steering produced some restoration. Uh, no 
the flanger has some marks uh, here and there, nothing too bad. Maybe like Jared Parts can take care of that with his detailer. And so it's not, I know that they have like a really great detailer at uh, HLJDM. So, yep. and a little storage here. Uh, let's go check the engine bay. Also here, there was like a the, so you can recognize actually the so you can't really see it on the video. Here, but here there was like a sticker. That's the old man sticker in Japan. They just drive around with this on just to warn people. Be careful! I'm old. Here, very clean engine bay. Very little leakage or anything like that. Uh, the paint of the like um, cam covers could be better, clearly, but uh, no rust anywhere. Just overall very good. Really, no no issues at all. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Very not much to. <laughs> Not much to show you guys right there. All right, let's go for a really quick test drive. Uh, one shot with the video this time, because uh, really quick because I don't have plates again. <laughs> and the fine is brutal. If I were to be cut, so 105,095 kilometer. There's like, what, one fifth of a tank left, so that definitely like triples the value of the car. Hop. I, I am kidding, it is worth a little more than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me just turn off a little bit the air conditioning, just so uh, that you can hear. Just so you can hear the, the noises that the car makes. Drives very straight. This is the rest of the parking lot. That's my new daily. Old people working on uh, on things. Just trying not to cross people with, uh, with no plates on. So I'll go this way. Nicely. Usually I do recommend like a little flush for the gearbox. Always helps, especially those old automatics. Uh, they, they do like to have like a little bit of uh, a quick flush, you know, does marvel usually. Gonna try not to eat birds. perfectly straight and most of all no more stupid vibrations <laughs> like uh, that was when I first got the car the car back 
honestly, I do find those little test drives with no play just around here, like to show a bit more than <laughs> than when they are in traffic in Amagasaki. It's almost better to just do like little, like a little run here instead of uh, of being stuck in traffic in Amagasaki. show you see I'm not touching anything and braking I really like just perfectly straight this is where I just took the pictures and did the uh, walk around and now I'm gonna park it back at my secondary lot which is right here This is a long one, this car, definitely not small, for Japan at least. Now I'm just gonna try to maximize parking space. Double check. Yeah, I still have like quite a bit of room. And you can see after driving, the temperature is. I'm just putting it in neutral and. That is good enough. Up. Up. There you go. And yeah, you did not get a cold start because the battery is dead. So I'm gonna try to see what I can do. Is it possible to open it without? Yes. This is gonna go in here for now. Up. All right. Well, till next time. If you have any questions, let us know and bye bye.